Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going over a watch made by Laurier. This is the Laurier Hydra GMT. This is the third iteration of this watch. Before I get into that, I'm gonna pour myself a glass here quick, get in the mood. Not too much of this. This is Romanian brandy. This is really strong stuff. Here's to all the watch people out there. Quick wrist check. I have my Tudor Black Bay 58. On my left hand, it is on a Jubilee bracelet by Uncle Straps. And on my right hand, I have a newer watch that I got uh, about two months, a month. This is a newer, well, it's an older actually. It's a Seiko. This is the SCVS003. Kind of looks like a Sarb, right? 033. But this is a previous version of the Sarb. It's where the Sarb got its looks from, I guess, from this beauty. But this is not about Seiko or Tudor. It's about this lovely new GMT watch by Laurier. A little bit of information about Laurier watches. If you clicked on this video, you probably know by now, it's a husband and wife team from New York. They make watches from 2017 or so. And this is one of the latest watches, and it is called the Hydra GMT. Now, Hydra was brought to the market in, I think, 2019. This was their first model. It was not a GMT at that point. It was just a beautiful vintage-inspired watch with actually even then it had a loom bezel insert and just amazing design and a super domed acrylic crystal now since then that's has been another hydra hydra 2 had a super compressor design uh, with two crowns now this one it is obviously a little bit different even than the second one. It is now a GMT. Dimensions, it is a 41 by 46 and it is 14.5. It does have a, obviously a GMT movement. It is a Miyota 9075. And it is beautiful. At this time that I'm making the video, this watch is not available. You have to get on a wait list with Laurier. This is not my watch. This was sent by Laurier for me to spend two weeks with it. And just want to give you a little bit of information about it. So Laurier watches does um, all acrylic crystals. Not for cost savings, but for that vintage look and for that clear, clear uh, design and better visibility and lovely, lovely distortions that you don't get from Sapphire. So a little bit about this watch compared to the first one. This is the first time I believe that Laurier went up in size. Um, 39 was the previous model, uh, Hydra 1. Hydra 2 was also 39. And now they went to a 41 millimeter design and also changed the movement to a GMT. Um, now, how does it feel? Does it feel big? To me, it doesn't. Um, this watch has a 46 millimeter lug to lug. 
So it went down in size, the lugs. You can even see here in a side-by-side. -side. The lugs are shorter. Therefore, it makes this watch a little bit smaller than what it actually is. Design of the watch. As you can see, it has a ring for the GMT hours. Clearly, it has the dial. It makes the dial is smaller. It makes the watch feel and look smaller. Has a date and obviously a GMT hand. Now, GMT, this particular movement, it is what's called a true GMT because you can actually just move the hour hand by itself which is great. It works great. I have the time set to uh, eight o'clock in the morning. In Romania is eight o'clock. I live in the US, so here is obviously one. It's very, very easy to set this movement. If you know anything about this movement, it's been out for a little bit of time. Um, it is a good movement. It's Miyota's version of an of, of affordable GMT. Seiko also has one. Um, you pretty much move the... You set the GMT hand wherever you want it to. And then you move your hour hand wherever you want to. Well, obviously, at the time that it is now. And that's pretty much it. It works, it looks amazing. The crown is a screw down crown. You have 200 meters of water resistance. Now thickness, 14.5 might seem like a lot, but with certain tricks of design, you can make this watch, well, they did make this watch look and feel smaller. One being the dial, it does look, make it look a lot smaller. Another one, when you look at this watch, you see this really thin case. Compared to the first one, it is a lot thinner. First one was 15.5 thickness, the whole watch. But a little trickery here. If you look at it, this case actually starts at the case back. So the case, it is thicker, but the way they finished it makes it look very, very thin. It's a good trick, but it works. Lovely design. Very well, very well thought out, this watch. It did get a little bit wider, again, to 41. It does kind of have, uh, it buries the crown in a little bit more than obviously the first one had no crown guards at all. So kind of looks like crown guards to some extent. You still have the crown out more. It looks very beautiful. I really like it. I myself never liked GMTs that much, never saw the functionality, I don't really need to set an actual time to know it's seven hours ahead where I'm from. Uh, but it is a, it's a really nice function to have. It, it really grew on me, this watch. Now, some positives. This watch has a beautiful design, very different than other GMTs. Most GMTs would have the GMT hours on the bezel. This one doesn't. It's all inside the, the dial design. You still have a bezel that you can time, uh, you know, 30 minutes, 50 minutes, whatever you like. It is a unidirectional bezel. I believe it's 60 clicks. It does loom and it looks amazing. So positives, beautiful design, Unique in a way, you don't see this ring design too.
too often now. Um, GMT movement, reliable. Uh, the watch is brand new. It's it's probably like five seconds fast. I didn't really time this watch that much because I didn't see a change in the in the time at all. Uh, it did gain a little bit of time. I have it for about a week and a half, so maybe it gained. 30 seconds, 20 seconds or so. Really not that crazy. Um, beautiful bracelet. Laurier is known for their amazing, amazing bracelets. Really nice clasp. Three micro adjust. Pretty much sterile back. Just with their logo. It has an amazing, amazing application of loom. I'll give you a little bit of that right now. Not seen uh, loom application like this too often. I mean, this is just gorgeous. <laughs> it has Luminova on the GMT hour ring, Luminova on the GMT hand, and BGW9 on the rest. Now, does it last forever? No, it doesn't. Uh, the ring goes first. The hours and the hands stay a long time. It is a strong application on the hours and the hands. The bezel is not going to last forever, but it works. This whole look just works. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Negatives. One negative, if I would call it a negative, the crown is small, a lot smaller than before. Now that's not always a negative, but because it's buried in into the, I guess, crown guards now, I had sometimes a hard time gripping this crown. Um, now that's not the end of the world. You know, it screws in perfect. Um, I'm sure they had a reason why they made it a little bit smaller, had to do probably with the design of the case, but that is really not a big deal. Another issue, not of the actual watch, but the movement. This movement does not have a date quick set. For you to change the date, you would have to move the hour hand all the way. Keep going, you keep going. And then the time will change. Now, if you, today's the 30th, let's say, if you have to go all the way to 25 or 25th, I mean, you're gonna scroll a lot here. Now, you could go back, but I'm not sure how safe that is. I mean, it works. Now, I'm not a specialist in movements. I don't know how safe that is for a movement, so I don't recommend doing that. But yeah, and there's no quick uh, adjust for the date. But that's Miura, it's not Laurier. So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Let me put it on my hand, show you what it looks like on my hand. It does not look very big. I have to say, beautiful, beautiful bracelet. It doesn't look bigger than my, than my Black Bay. Black Bay has a bigger dial, so it's gonna look bigger, but it's not a big difference. Now height, yes, there is, but that's okay. That's not, a horrible thing to have a watch that's a little bit taller it doesn't even look that tall from this side this angle it doesn't it's a gorgeous gorgeous watch i really like this watch cost 5.99 that is one affordable gmt you're not gonna find too many gmts that look this good for 5.99 now you have to wait 
or you can find it on eBay. I saw a couple on eBay. One sold for five forty or so. You know, it depends where you find them and when you find them. This case design hugs your wrist so nice. Because of that design of the case makes it look very thin on your hand. And nothing beats this distortions of an acrylic dial. Gorgeous, gorgeous watch. Well done, Laurier, again. That's all I have about this watch. I recommend this watch, it is beautiful. It's not mine, it's from Laurier. They're not paying me anything, you know, I'm not doing this for any type of money or anything. This is just me enjoying another one of their watches. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. What else I have here? I have my lovely SKX 007. I have recently just purchased the first Laurier high, uh, Neptune version one. I am so in love with this watch right now. I'll do a review on this eventually. Look at that crystal, gorgeous. That's all I got. I'm not gonna keep you too much longer. Thank you for your time. Cheers to you. And the new Hydra, it is an absolutely awesome watch. It is different from the first ones, as you can see. There's a difference in design. It's going a different way, GMT. GMT is awesome. Now I really like GMT watches. A GMT that works like this. A true GMT where you can move the hour hand. It's beautiful. Love it. That's all I got for today. Thank you for joining me. Have yourself a good day and I'll see you on the next one. Any comments? Put them in the comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.